Hi, writers. Today, I am so excited because we are going to start one of my absolute favorite projects that we do all year long. This is called our reporting project, and you are going to get to be a reporter. So I want you to take a second and think. Pretend we're in social studies. I know, silly, right? What's Writer's Workshop? But I want you to think about social studies for a minute. What are some of the things that we do in social studies? Right. We read, we research, we take notes, we make connections. Today, we're going to take all of those skills from social studies and all of our skills from informational reading and informational writing and bring them together to create our reported project. Thumbs up if you're with me. So excited to get started. So this is what you need to know, writers. Writers don't just write in writing. Think about our day. We write a lot all day. They move on to other subject areas as well. And writers carry the skills that they've learned with them when they are scientists, mathematicians, readers. Writers make sure they use what they know about planning, well-organized informational text, whether they are writing a book and writing workshop, like the one you just finished, or writing an article or a paper or a feature article for social studies. So your target today, I can draft an information writing piece about a social studies topic. I know I'm successful when I pick a topic for my piece and you're going to get to pick from Revolutionary War or Civil War. I select a text structure to organize my ideas and I write long and strong to complete a quick draft of my piece. So today you are gonna draft a whole piece. I know you can do this, writers. So let me show you one of mine. Um, since I'm giving you Revolutionary War or Civil War, I'm gonna do the Industrial Revolution, which was another one of those big topics that we studied. I'm thinking I might do description text structure for that. I could describe what the factory working conditions were like. We know it looked dark, there was poor lighting, you could see dust everywhere, and it smelled really poorly, as no one really left often. People were there for hours, and baths and showers weren't as common. I could also write about the Industrial Revolution using problem and solution. A problem. It was taking too long to make things. You know, if you wanted a dress, you had to sew your own dress. The solution was to use mass production strategies. They built factories and they could make way more things quicker. So the problem and the solution, how it was solved. I could also write the same topic in a cause and effect text structure. So my cause would be the Industrial Revolution and the effects, what happened after it. Things were made more quickly. Working conditions became very poor, and there was a lot of pollution. So see how, with the different text structures, it changes what I'm going to write. So that's why it's really important today that you not only pick your topic, but you select your text structure. So you are going to pick from the Revolutionary War or the Civil War. I'll give you a moment now to think which topic it is you want to write about. Great. Now I'm giving you two choices for your text structure because the text structure you pick will influence your writing piece. You can pick from sequence, which we use to show how to do something or to relate events over time. So with the Revolutionary War or Civil War, if you're going to use sequence, you're going to be telling me about important events that led up to or happened in those wars in sequential order. Cause and effect shows us a cause and explains what happened after. So you might be telling me the causes. There might be multiple causes that led up to the Civil War. You might be telling me the Civil War was the cause and multiple effects that happened after. Or you might be telling me a chain reaction. There was a cause in the Revolutionary War. This was the effect. That effect led to something else, which led to something else. 
So take a second and think, what about the Revolutionary War do you want to tell me? What about the Civil War do you want to tell me? And which text structure is going to best fit? Great job, friends. So now we are going to put it all together. Think about all we have learned in social studies. And think about all we learned in informational writing. We're going to put those together to make a great informational social studies piece. So your job now, you're going to take some of those notes and learning you did on the Civil War, the Revolutionary War during content, and you're going to fill out a graphic organizer of your choice from your notebook. Try to think about what it is you want to share, what is going to fit best. And if you look in your writer's notebook, Page 100 gives you your to-do list again. You've got cause and effect example here, sequence example here, and then here is your sequence graphic organizer. And then you have three choices for your cause and effect. If you're talking about one cause and effects that came after, you would pick this one multiple causes that led to one effect. So that might be events that led up to and caused a war or the linked ones. So if blank were to happen, then blank happened. So go ahead and pick which graphic organizer you're going to fill out. I'm going to give you 10 minutes now to go and work on your graphic organizer. If you finish filling out the graphic organizer, you can try to jot down a few more notes on the side of maybe some sentence starters or things you're, gonna, or you're going to want to include in your draft. All right, so 10 minutes to go over your notes from social studies and fill out your graphic organizer. Off you go. All right, friends.
welcome back. Let's take a look at how we're doing. By now you should have jotted down all of your notes and now you're gonna be ready to draft. Today you are drafting your entire piece because it's just gonna be a quick short piece. So I know that we just spent weeks working on a large chapter book. This time you have your graphic organizer and I'm only looking for one to two paragraphs. This is a short piece but I want you to make sure you keep signal words in mind when you are drafting. So again, in your notebook, you've got those two charts full of cause and effect and sequence signal words. All right, friends, off you go to write, 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 write. You're writing a whole piece today. This is really cool. I can't wait to read what you've written. Enjoy.